Hey y'all, it's Natalie and it is time for another acrylic stash busting video. I have been saving this kit. It is the graffiti art page kit from Not Just For Boys and I knew that it matched my kid's uh, dance recital outfit perfectly. So I have been hoarding it, waiting until I got his photos back. So I'm going to finally create a page with it. Um, this is the uh, fun series that I do with my friends, Nicole, Jessica, and Jennifer. So they'll be linked down below if you wanna um, go along with them as well. They are using their acrylic pieces today as well. I am just setting up my page to see how I would like to use this kit. And so these awesome film strips came with it. And so I'm trying to figure out if I wanna use the white one or the black one, because I'm thinking I'm gonna create a shaker pocket here with the film strips, and then I'm going to use that acrylic piece that says the routine as the title of it um, to set a top of the shaker pocket. So right now I'm just measuring the film strip so I can cut another piece of acrylic, or I'm sorry, acetate, to be the back side of the shaker pocket. So that is what I'm doing there. It's kind of hard to see because it's clear acetate, but <laughs> that's what I'm doing. And I'm just lining them up to make sure. Oh, no, I am using my Big Mom foam tape roll to pop up the front bit. So I'm going to create like a little bit of a well to fill with those sequins that came in the graffiti art kit. Um, they are really cool. They have black stars and they have lime green stars and then a bunch of different color sequins in them. Um, it's funny because when Meredith created this kit, she also had in mind her son's dance recital hip hop, uh, costume, which it must be a very common costume color scheme because we both live across the country from one another and both of our boys had hip hop. Uh, recital costumes that had lime green and black. So I'm just carefully pulling off the backing of all of the foam tape. I do that after I fill the shaker so that none of the sequins stick to the tape. And then I'm gonna sandwich it between the piece of acetate that I cut. And then if there's any overhang, I'll just trim it off. Yep, super love how that looks. It's very cool. And sometimes a, a few of the sequins will stick like to the edges of the foam tape, but that's okay because um, it kind of keeps them up when the page is like, you know, pointed down. So now I'm just going to gut a little bit of the white paper out of the middle. I only want to see the border of the white paper in my background. So I'm just going to use some of it to back the photo, which I've already trimmed down. It had a lot of um, negative space on it that I didn't need. So... Um, now I'm going to use my little contour tool, tool. I'll link down below because I always have questions about that. Um, but I just use that to help me like rip the pages and have a little bit of control over how I'm tearing my paper. So I'm going to do that on the top and bottom of this black cardstock. Now this cardstock did not come in the kit. This is just for my sash, but I just wanted to add a little pop of black in there since, um, I thought that would look nice. And then I'm going to cut down this brick paper that came in the kit. And then I'm going to add strips of the ripped lime green paper at the top and bottom of it. I think this one was Reminisce. Um, unfortunately, the kit is actually sold out on the Not Just For Boys Kit Club site. Sorry about that. But if you have it and you haven't used it yet, I hope you are inspired by uh, watching what I have to make today. But like I said, I intentionally bought this kit with knowing that I would have these photos eventually. I didn't have them at the time. So um, I've been hoarding it for just the right opportunity when I finally got those photos. So I have two professional photos of him. And then I will also scrap all of the ones from the actual recital day and everything. I'll probably do a pocket page in between the two professional photos. So the, um, there were a lot of fun acrylics that kind of went along with this kit. So I have quite a few that um, I have another one I think that says the show or something like that, that I will use with his um, other professional. And also my other son, he um, was in a different show in this same school and his colors were kind of green, but he just wore black and white and the girls in his group were in green. So this kit would actually work for him as well. So I'll definitely be using the other acrylics and cut files for him as well. So I'm going to rough up the edges of this paper really well and then I'm going to ink them up with black to help them pop off of the background papers. 
You can see I added um, the white cardstock around his photo. Um, this is a super simple page. So over there on the right, you can kind of see those glitter lime green alphas. Those are from my stash. Um, they've been around for a very long time, so much so that I had no E's left. So I had to use threes backwards, which it's cool because um, I felt like they kind of were whimsical. Um, he danced to the song Can't Stop the Feeling from the Trolls soundtrack by Justin Timberlake. So I thought it went along nicely and I liked the glitter for like showbiz, baby. <laughs> And, um, yeah, I, I even edited, I think the J's to be T's cause I was also out of T's, but it worked. It worked. I do that a lot of times with the alphas. I don't mind editing them to be another letter. And, um, these were really old. So I'm glad that I kind of got to get them out of my stash this way. So I'm just sticking everything down, committing. <laughs> there you go. You can't even see where I gutted that white paper. And since I'm doing at least three larger pieces of paper, it, it was sturdy enough. It was fine that I got it. It didn't matter that um, it's not flimsy or anything like that. So like I said, um, my friends, Nicole, Jessica, and Jennifer are also de-stashing their acrylic stash. We mostly, well, we have them from all over, but we're all together on the Not Just Her Boys Kick Club team. So I know that we have a lot from there and that's where a lot of mine come from, but theirs come from all over as well. And they have such inspiration. So make sure to check those out. They're either on Instagram or on um, YouTube. I'll link them down below. I'll also throw my affiliate links in there. I will link to Not Just Her Boys Kick Club. If you haven't ever used any of their kits, they're amazing. They put together the best kits ever. So definitely check those out. Um, and if you see one that you love that's pretty new, you might want to grab it because they do sell out um, because they are so awesome. They're really great at putting kits together. Um, yeah. So I'm just trimming up the edges where the papers are kind of a little bit different sizes and also because I trimmed down that one paper. But I'm happy with how that looks. This kit also came with some mixed media pieces, um, but they were more of a like yellow and blue and I didn't really have those colors in my photos. So I didn't use them this time, but there are like three or four other pieces of the paper that came in the kit that I haven't even used on this layout. So they're all very awesome kits that I tend to get multiple layouts out of every time, which is fabulous. Um, so they're definitely a good buy as well. So I committed to sticking down the photo. I layered the um, cut file, not the cut file, the shaker pocket on top of the negative space in the photo. And now I'm just using my new adhesive to adhere down the acrylic piece on top of the shaker pocket. And I filled my shaker pocket really full this time because I wanted it to be a very huge wow factor. I didn't want all of the sequins to just fall down to the bottom. So it's a pretty full shaker. And I still had sequins left over even after I filled it up. So that's always nice too. The little containers of sequins um, can go really far. So there's all of my glitter letters. Um, some of them haven't been edited yet, but I won't make you watch all that. I just kind of snipped off the edges of some of the cardstock or chipboard letters and added them back on a different way to create a different letter. Do that well with E's or with T's. That's pretty much it. And then lastly, this um, Jane Davenport paint, or I'm sorry, it's Dina Wakely, sorry, came in the kit as well. So I'm going to water it down and just add some black splatter around the photos because the brick has really cool green splatter on it. So I thought it would be nice to add a little bit of black and bring in that black strip of cardstock from the background um, into a little bit more of the foreground. And then we're gonna call it a day because like I said, I'm gonna do a pocket page that will kind of contain the journaling and other things from um, the big day of the recital for my little guy. So there he is. I was so glad to finally get this uh, kit used that I bought specifically to go with these photos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and check out the links down below. Bye y'all.